This picture isn't so much about the picture. I don't even think it's that good of a picture. To me, it's about the process behind creating the picture, which involved me and a soldering gun and my two little kids. I was working on some wiring and had my soldering gun out, and so the kids were pretty curious about what was going on. And I showed them. I had this little wire or this uh, spool of solder, and I said, "Feel this. See how it's it's hard. It's a uh, it's it's almost like metal. Well, it is." Uh, metal, but it bends. And I said, uh, uh, this soldering gun can get so hot that it will melt this. And they thought that was pretty cool. So I got at this piece of um, uh, like quarter inch plywood and I showed them. I, I uh, melted the solder and it dripped and one drip kind of splashed a little bit, which you can see in the other sort of congealed in these little balls. And they thought the whole thing is pretty neat. And uh, photographically speaking, I was thinking, man, this would be a, a cool picture to get really up close and personal with these uh, little balls of solder and take a picture of them. It's the type of situation that would be ideal for something like a uh, set of close-up filters. And so that's what I did the next morning. I, uh, while everyone was still sleeping, I got um, the same plywood that I had and the same couple of balls of solder and put it under the task lighting in the kitchen, which is these lights that shine down from below cupboards. So the lighting wasn't that great. I didn't have a lot of time to do this. It was like 5.45 or 6 in the morning, and people were going to be getting up soon. I shot this handheld. I couldn't get close enough with the plus 10 filter, so I put on the plus 10 and the plus 4, which causes a dramatic reduction in the depth of field. I think – if I were to guess, and you can kind of look for yourself at the at the plywood here, I would guess it's like an eighth inch uh, depth of field here, and I, I manually focused. I tried to, <laughs> excuse me, a lot of different angles to take this from. Out of maybe 25 shots, this is the only one that I really was partway happy with, and I'm not even that happy with it because the depth of field is so shallow, you can't even see what's going on. You kind of get the sense that there's four of these balls of solder, and then there's a splash, and I don't know. It, there's It's just not that interesting, but it was an interesting process to take it. So that's what I uh, – that's what I thought was um, the the fascinating part about this was not the picture but the process. And it gave me some ideas for other pictures that I'm <laughs> – excuse me – that I might want to take as well. And it also helped me to understand a little bit more about extreme close-up pictures. And this – I mean in, in true macro sense, this isn't even that extreme. But these these balls of solder are really tiny. They're, gosh, I don't know, like, they're super tiny, man. They're like less than a quarter inch in diameter. And there's, to get this close to something like that, you have to have a lot of control over what you're doing. There wasn't much light, so I, I had to use, uh, I had to work within all these constraints to get the shot. So, I don't know, it might be fun to try and retake this, but it was fu it was fun just to get, uh, get out the, the filters and play around a little bit, so... I don't know. There's, I, I you can read into this photo like you can like last week. I was all it was all about reading into the situation and, and finding some greater meaning and, and purpose. Here, not much. Just uh, the the uh, the process of taking it was really the interesting part.